which is quite weird, loading on scuba tanks, floating on a freshwater lake, and it belies the size of this tract of water. And it's quite a different feeling diving in this freshwater environment. We found ourselves swimming along this rocky drop-off right on the edge of the island. The fish in question are a huge family called the cichlids, and they've really made Lake Malawi their home. They've colonized every square meter of usable habitat in this lake. It turns out that the cichlids are divided into different groups, and one particular group is particular to these rocky environments. And at first glance, there's just a myriad of different species, and it's quite bewildering. Moving along this slope of jumbled boulders, we were trying to identify patterns or, you know, the most prolific species, but it was just impossible. The fish are small, and it was only when we really settled down and began to look at individuals that we began to notice how unique and colorful these little fish are. They're all really closely related, but quite diverse in color and shape. They do have things in common. They all look after their young, and the vast majority of them are actually mouth brooders. I was just in the process here of trying to pick off shots of all the different individuals I could find so that we could later go and sit and identify the most prolific species. Some are quite drab, others quite striking. This one with a beautiful yellow cheek. Some were even white. And a lot were pecking algae off the rocks. This beautiful yellow and blue individual was holed up near a little weed bed. And it seemed to me that most of these fish were very much attached to a particular crevice or rocky area. Their feeding patterns are really different too, and some were pecking at the rocks, obviously either grazing algae or picking off little invertebrates. And some were slightly bigger in size. This very blue individual was about 20 centimeters long. This particular fish seemed to be one of the more common. And some of these fish were intent on snuffling around in the sand which lay at the foot of the rock pile. So we could already see quite a big range of obviously colors and feeding habits and it'll be a real treat to get to know these fish a bit better. we noticed quite a lot of activity going on. There were loads and loads of Cape Gannets flying in the air. As we got closer, we noticed that there was a huge group of common dolphins. These dolphins were really charging up the coast. We traveled with these animals for about three or four kilometers and uh, they didn't slow down. We were going at about 35 kilometers an hour, so it kind of gives you an indication of the speed and the distances that these animals can travel. Although we're about 700 k south of where we normally start with the sardine run, 
the sardines actually spawn off the Gallus banks, which is pretty much down in the Cape. Then they'll start moving up the coast, and it's quite possible that this is the beginning of these big shoals of bony fish moving up the coast. If you look closely in the top left hand corner, you'll see a really big animal breaking surface. And that was one of the bride's whales, another big animal that feeds and preys on these small bony fish. So all the predators are here, and this could possibly be the start of the annual migration of the sardines. This is probably the signature feature here on this Nine Mile Reef and it provides shelter for numerous little fish. Many of the sea goldies, the damsels, the wrasse and a couple of the smaller rock cod all use this structure for safe refuge against the bigger pelagic fish. A lot of current moves past here and these green trees seem to thrive in these particular areas. Some nice grey skinned rubber lips uh, moving in and about the reef here. And this is what Nine Mile is all about. Some nice big high ledges, big fish. And this is a nice big potato bass. He's come into this area to be cleaned by numerous of the small little wrasses that you find in this area. A little further down the reef I noticed quite a striking little fish darting in and amongst two beautiful plate corals. I was quite excited to see that they were a pair of regal angel or royal angel fish. Quite a rare find on these shallow reefs here in Sedwana Bay. And then just to the right of this was a very interesting little animal. It's a feather star that's moving from one location to the next and quite incredible how they use their feather-like legs or arms to transport this amazing intricate body across the reef. These intricate little animals normally colonize parts of the reef that is pretty exposed to the currents and what they do is they put out their feather-like arms and catch phytoplankton that moves past in the current and this is what they feed on. Then on our way back from Nine Mile we we're exceptionally fortunate to bump into a whale shark, the gentle giant of the oceans. <laughs> 